is this my second time recording this video because the first time the audio was all messed up it is but what is going on guys it is your boy tkd123 here back here in playstation source and we're going to be talking about a product that was sent to me from sabrent it is going to be the rocket 4 plus ps5 ssd with the heatsink as well so of course before we get started with anything about this review of course this was provided for me from sabrent for review so huge shout out to sabrent for the opportunity to check out one of their products and review this ssd this is actually an ssd that i was thinking about purchasing this holiday season but i'm glad that now uh i not only have it but i can of course talk to you guys on the channel here about my thoughts about this ssd so starting off here of course if you are going to purchase this on on Amazon it will come in four different iterations well mainly three but you know one kind of if you already have an SSD but uh, the one that I'm reviewing here today is the two terabyte SSD with the heatsink which will be $370 on Amazon there's also a one terabyte with heatsink option for $190 if you want more space right like if you got that bag like if you got that money you know what I'm saying you can get the four terabyte with heatsink for the PS5 for $903 dollars and so that might be a little bit too much however if you already have an ssd that meets the speeds of the ps5 and you just want that heat sink from sabrent it will be 20 dollars on amazon link below in the description for this product to see which ones you want to get and everything and so overall when you buy the ssd my cat is scratching his neck hold on are you done I don't even think y'all can hear that, but whatever, okay? So, uh, when you buy this product, of course, which you'll see here on the unboxing, it'll come with both the SSD and the heatsink itself in two separate packages, but it'll come in like a combo pack, so that's great and everything. And also, if you are like me and don't have a screwdriver, which I'm not sure how I've made it this far without buying a screwdriver you know what i'm saying I, i'm quite not sure how that happens but uh it does come with a handy screwdriver that will not only be used uh you know for the actual heating itself and screwing that in but with the ps5 screws as well so definitely gonna be super super handy for this installation which we will go over here shortly along with that they do come with you know manuals for both the ssd and the heating itself the ssd manual is not the best because it's not like showing specific ps five like schematics and everything it's meant for like a pc motherboard and such and everything which definitely makes sense because this ssd is not like specifically for the ps5 as opposed to the heatsink where that manual is definitely going to be for the ps5 as well so that one's going to be all good and uh, you'll have a lot better of a representation on the heatsink manual but the one for the ssd it's still going to work you know what i'm saying and we will go and walk through how we're exactly going to install it but it's not going to be that helpful for the ps5 specifically so now we're going to be installing this in our ps5 so first up here we're going to want to remove the stand of course and take off the ps5 plate where if you have a disk drive ps5 it's going to be the side that has the disk drive attached to it if you have a digital ps5 like me just do the ps5 plate that does not have a ps logo on top and everything that's going to be the side that you're going to want to take off in other terms when you're laying the ps5 sideways if the usb c port is on the right hand side that's the side you're gonna want to take off on top right if that makes sense everything just look at the video and it'll be straightforward and everything now next up here you're gonna want to remove the steel gray ps5 door that houses the space for the ssd for the ps5 and so the heatsink will actually be replacing this door so i would just keep this ps5 gray door in a nice handy spot just in case you want to trade in your ps5 or you want to sell your ps5 and you want to take your ssd and heatsink with it you know what i'm saying uh you can put the original door back in its place but uh, definitely keep it in a safe place just in case now next up here once you get the door off remove the screw that's on the 110 marking inside the ssd bay and keep it nearby because we're going to be using this for the ssd later on in the video next up here you're going to want to now connect the ssd to the inside of the ps5 and so there's going to be a little slit where you'll see a grivet where you're where you're going to be able to slide in that ps5 ssd and everything so you'll hear a little click and that's pretty much means you're good to go although you will notice that the ssd is at like a ramp and it's like sticking upwards that's okay we will handle that next up here where you're going to want to get the screw that was initially on the 110 marking inside the ps5 already and take that screw and 
then screw the SSD down so it's laying down flat. Now this will line up with the 60 marking inside the SSD bay. That's perfect. Just screw it in. Make sure it's nice and snug in there. And then you're going to want to, of course, get that PS5 heatsink and peel off the sticky covering that's on the back of the heatsink. Then all you do is line it up with the grooves inside the PS5 SSD bay. Screw it in with the screw that you use on the gray door as well. And you'll be all good to go. At that point, you're pretty much done. All you got to do now is go back to your PS5, plug it in, all the good stuff. And of course, uh, you know, put on the plate and put on the stand if you're if you're using that of course the, I mean, yeah definitely do that of course and then boot up your ps5 so when you boot your ps5 you're gonna see the screen that kind of looks like the you know safe mode boot up for the ps5 it's going to ask you if you want to format the ssd for the ps5 you're going to be able to if you want to use it with your ps5 so start that formatting process and as that is going let's go over some details about this ssd specifically it was engineered to fit perfectly and easily into the ps5 ssd expansion slot and of course it makes the installation a lot easier because this is a very very seamless process as we just went through it also will be a fast ssd not only meeting the sony specs with the sony numbers being that you need to have an ssd that reads and writes at 5500 megabits per second and the saber ssd here that we have installed the rocket 4 plus exceeds those speeds with being able to read at 7,000 megabytes per second and write at 6,600 megabits per second. So overall, it exceeds the speeds that you are needed for the PS5. You love to see that. On top of that, it has really good cooling with the materials being made from a high quality CNC aluminum. The Sabre and PS5 heatsink as well specifically was designed to maximize cooling performance and of course have a simple installation process. And with the heatsink, right it will act as of course the you know trap cover that we said before and it's designed to also work with the cooling system in the ps5 with those grooves as it pushes the heat from the ssd out towards those fans on the ps5 allowing it to be very efficient and keep that ssd cool and all that great stuff and lastly of course the ssd heatsink method also uses sabrent's sandwich design which ensures even pressure throughout the ssd for efficient and consistent heat transfer for unlike methods used by other brands on the market so overall you know what i'm saying i'm not the uh, biggest you know hardware guy right like i'm not gonna sit here and act like i know my way fully around tech and everything so i wanted to do a simple test that kind of shows you guys the speeds of this ssd what i did here was i took 200 gigs from my ps5 storage and moved it to the ssd and so those 200 gigs for transfer took just over two and a half minutes long to complete so uh, i think you know i think that's pretty fast overall it's like two gigs that's a lot of space moving it in just over two and a half minutes is definitely nothing to shy about and something that i thought was really fast overall all things considered so at the end of this whole thing you know what i'm saying um of course while i you know do feel that a lot of people are going to be grabbing ssds and everything i think the best option for the average person here is probably to just go with the one terabyte option just because it's not a replacement thing like with the ps4 where you had to install the os on your new hard drive for your ps4 to function right uh this is purely expandable so your ps5 storage will still be intact and and will be usable with the ssd purely being just extra space and so uh you know at that point you'll have 1.6 terabytes i think that's you know probably plenty for the average person right but uh, of course if you want to you know just make sure you're not worrying about storage really at all necessarily you can get that two terabyte rocket four saber and ssd like i have here or once again if you're balling right get that four terabyte and never worry about space probably ever again but overall you know what i'm saying i think that there are a lot of games coming out and there's plenty of games coming out in the future as well going into the generation so if you want just all your games accessible right now on your ps5 this is a perfect product to get if you don't want to worry about storage in the future and overall with its ability to cool the ssd with that heat sink and just how you know having an ssd that exceeds the speeds that sony wants for the ps5 in terms of ssds to be installed in the ps5 this is the perfect product and uh, i think it's uh, definitely worth your money of course down below amazon link check out this product 
Huge shout out to Sabrent for allowing me to review this product and providing me the SSD to review. And down below, if you are going to pick up this product, let me know which size you're getting, as well as if you already have this SSD, let me know your thoughts on it. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know those thoughts down in the comments below. And make sure also, while you are down there, check out that description. You can find links to our Discord, our Twitter, and our Anchor link that you listen to our long-form content and podcast. Remember, those, of course, being the Road 2 series with Road 2 Forbidden West coming out in January. Get hyped for that, guys. Cannot wait to start that podcast series. And, of course, like the video if you enjoyed it, as well as hit subscribe to PlayStation Storage to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you all for watching, and as always, greatness awaits.